Now, you might think these are just random jersey numbers, but there's hidden meanings behind why players chose them. Anthony Davis becoming number three nearly caused one of the most expensive controversies in NBA history. I'm talking tens of millions of dollars, dog. We all know Anthony Davis as number 23. He wore the number early in his NBA career to represent where he was from, Chicago, and his childhood idols of Michael Jordan and LeBron James. But being traded to the Lakers raised some issues. Who's gonna wear the number? Him or LeBron? Well, right after the news was announced of Davis heading to LA, him and LeBron were spotted on Instagram answering the question themselves. When LeBron posted this on Instagram, showing AD holding a number 23 Lakers jersey. But there was a problem. Because the deadline had passed for jersey changes to be made, Nike would have lost tens of millions of dollars switching LeBron's number. So AD had to figure something else out. That was pretty hurtful, to be honest. I didn't they sent me a list of numbers and I didn't know what to choose, so it is what it is. The first number that I ever wore was number three. Um, when I saw the number was available, kind of just wanted to take it all the way back to where it first started and put the number back on. Somehow, Dwayne Wade was able to predict the future with his jersey number, the number three. Dwayne chose this number for a few different reasons, one being his Christian faith, where he associated the number three with his religion. It represents perfection, which he aimed for his entire career, and then throughout his career, the number three followed him everywhere. Dwayne was number three when he took Marquette to the Final Four in 2003. He was drafted by the Heat in 2003. It took D-Wade three NBA seasons to win an NBA Finals and win Finals MVP, and he ended up with three championships to this day. Told you, man, this dude's a psychic. But the second reason behind him wearing number three comes from one of his idols, Allen Iverson. I, you know, guys know he's one of, the, one of the two reasons I wear number three. You know, every time I see him, it's all love, and I appreciate that, and I try to rep, rep that number three to the fullest, so I hope I made him proud. Damian Lillard's jersey number isn't something he chose. He was born with it. And funny enough, he doesn't even consider it a number. Dame grew up in Oakland, California, and he went from there to Ogden to play college basketball. And he was eventually drafted to the Blazers, who play in Oregon. Dame wanted to represent the cities that he's played in, so that's exactly why he chose the number zero to represent the O's. Rumor has it that Dame's blood type is O positive, so it's more than a number or a letter. It's literally who he is. The story behind Kevin Durant's jersey number is heartbreaking. As a kid, Durant went to Seat Pleasant Recreation Center, where he met his longtime coach, known as Big Chucky. Him and Kevin became friends on and off the court. After he saw Katie growing up in a struggling environment, Chucky gave him money, made sure he was able to eat, took him to movies, and was a role model for him. They maintained a friendship throughout Kevin's teen years. But just two years before Durant was drafted, Big Chucky was killed in a tragic shooting at the age of 35. This obviously devastated Kevin, but he had to move forward. Going into college, being drafted to the NBA, and becoming a superstar, Durant wore the number 35 to represent the impact Big Chucky had on his life. And Kevin said he plans to retire at the age of 35 as well. But now heading to Brooklyn, Durant's decided it's time for a change. And right when the news broke, he posted this on Instagram detailing what the number 35 meant to him. And he wrapped up the post saying, 35 was chosen in honor of someone very near and dear to me. I'll always honor him and honor the number 35. But as I start this new chapter in my basketball life, the number I'll be wearing on my back is number seven. And this must've been planned for a while. Durant was seen wearing a black hat with the number seven during the NBA playoffs. He announced he was heading to Brooklyn on the seventh day of the seventh month. Kevin Durant explained that the number seven stands for completion in the Bible. And with KD almost at 35 years old, this new number is hinting that he's completing his career with the Nets. Joel Embiid has always been a funny guy on and off the court, but his jersey number is inspired by one of the most serious players in NBA history. Throughout Joel's college days at Kansas, and of course his playing days here in Philly, Joel's continued to rep the number 21 strong, but when Embiid first came into the NBA, he almost didn't get the number he wanted. At first, he was gonna choose number 11, but that was being worn by Drew Holiday, and number 21 was being worn by Thaddeus Young. But then Thaddeus was traded away that summer, so Embiid got his number 21, and he tweeted about it. There's been some legendary players in NBA history who've worn this number, but one particular person is why Joel wears it. Just a few years ago, after the legend Tim Duncan retired, B took to Twitter to let the world know just how big of an influence Duncan had on him, saying, congratulations to Tim Duncan on a great and successful career. One of my role models. I'll wear number 21 because of him. Hashtag the big fundamental. You may have never realized it, but Rudy Gobert's jersey number represents his entire journey to the NBA. In 2013, Gobert was drafted with a 27th pick by the Denver Nuggets, but was instantly traded to the Jazz. How could a team pick you and then trade you away without giving you a chance? That's messed up, dog. Well, Rudy didn't let that phase him. He embraced it. Gobert was taken 26 spots higher than he believed he should have been picked. 
so he had a point to prove, and that's the reason he chose number 27. To show every NBA team, they made a huge mistake skipping him in the draft, and ever since then, Rudy's gotten better each season, becoming one of the best defensive players in the NBA. For years, D. Rose was known for wearing number one with the Bulls, but now being with the Pistons, he wears a number that represents one of the biggest tragedies he was faced with. Derek was chosen to wear number 25 when he went to Simeon High School. The number was special because a legendary player, Ben Wilson, wore the number as Simeon 20 years earlier. And while Ben attended this school, he won a championship and was known as the best player of his age in the country. But his life was tragically cut short in 1984 when he was shot in daylight during lunch break just a few steps away from the school. So going forward, the number 25 was reserved for only the best players to play as Simeon. And next in line was Derrick Rose. Fast forward to the NBA, and Rose continues to represent for Ben and made it clear that he's honored to wear this number. Shaq has wore a ton of numbers throughout his career, and many have wondered why, but each number was a tribute to someone inspirational in his life. In high school and college, Shaq won number 33 for Patrick Ewing. And at first, this was the number he wanted when he made it to the NBA, but he's always had a reason for wearing different numbers. When he was drafted to the Magic, he chose number 32 because Terry Catledge wouldn't give him number 33. He literally tried to make Shaq pay $50,000 for it. Honestly, I'm surprised Shaq didn't just pay the 50K. Dude was just throwing money around back then. Then a few years later, Shaq starred in the movie Blue Chips, where he was on the Western University Dolphins. Here, Shaq chose one of the most random numbers of his career. 50, and that was a tribute to David Robinson. But the most legendary number people remember Shaq for came during his time with the Lakers, wearing number 34. And ironically, this one is the most significant to him. At first, he wanted 33, but that number was retired in LA for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. So Shaq went with 34 as a tribute to his stepfather, who wore that number when he was a drill sergeant in the army. Most of us know Russell Westbrook for his time wearing the number zero, but now with the Wizards, Russ switched to a number that has a much deeper meaning. He wore zero in college and the NBA because it represented a new beginning, but Westbrook was really forced to go with this. He only chose it because a player on his team always had his favorite number, and now that he's with the Wizards, he finally got the chance to wear the number that really means the most to him. Uh, obviously, I could have stayed with zero if I wanted to. It's kind of my first time in my career I can go back to my origin, original number, even at UCLA. I got there, Aaron Afalo had it, got to Oklahoma City, Nick Collison had it, and then when I got to Houston, Daniel House had it. So I never had an opportunity to kind of go back to my original number. A four is my favorite number. To me, it, it reminds me of just who I play and what I play for, and that's my family, my wife, my kids, my mom, my dad, my brother. Like It reminds me and it gives me a sense of my roots and where I started from and, and allows me to get back to why I love the game, why I fell in love with the game. You know, I'm just happy to be able to uh, have that, that number back, uh, so I'm excited about it. The number on Pascal Siakam's jersey represents people who mean the world to him. Growing up in Cameroon with three brothers and two sisters, this was too many kids for Pascal's parents to take care of. Money became a struggle, and eventually, Pascal was separated from his family, sent to a private school where the meals were terrible. Each day, he was told when to wake up, when to go to sleep. Since he was separated from his family for years, he holds each one of them very close to his heart. After an uphill battle with immigration, the family was finally able to make it to the United States where Pascal found his love for basketball. He attended New Mexico State where he began his basketball career wearing the number 43. And this number followed him to the NBA where he continues to work hard and get better each year. The number on his jersey represents his family. The four was inspired by his dad and three brothers, and the three is for his mom and two sisters. But the number goes deeper than that. Each time Pascal steps on the court, his pregame ritual involves him touching the number four four times, the number three three times, and pointing up to the sky because he knows his family is watching. Unlike anyone else on this list, Chris Paul didn't choose his number. His family did. Now that he's on Phoenix, he's still representing the number three. He's been wearing number three since he was a kid. When he was young, Chris idolized his older brother CJ and his dad Charles, and both of them played sports growing up. So Chris knew he had to carry on the family tradition of playing sports, especially because of the jersey numbers they wore. Chris's dad Charles wore number one, and his brother CJ wore number two. So you had CP1 and CP2, now you can guess why Chris has the nickname CP3. He's the third CP in the family, so he wears it proudly on any team he's a part of. Giannis's jersey number is special, and no one in the league chose their number like he did, except for his own brother. Over the last few seasons, Giannis has become one of the biggest names in the league, and he's done that all while wearing the number 34. Many compare him to Shaq because of the way that he dominates down low. Shaq even admitted that Giannis deserves the Superman nickname over him, but that's not why Giannis chose 34. He chose it for his family. 
because he owes everything to them. His father Charles was born on June 3rd, and his mother Veronica was born on June 4th. This gave Giannis a unique way of showing them his appreciation by keeping them close to his chest. Giannis decided to take the number 3 and 4 and combine them, and that's also why Giannis' brother Thanasis wears the number 43. But hey, let me know down in the comments if there's any other jersey numbers you want to know the meaning behind. And of course, make sure you click on this video right here. It's an incredible video. All you're doing is hurting yourself by not clicking on it. I don't know what you're doing, bro. Just, just click on the video. Come on, man. Just click on it. All right. All right, cool. Thank you.